integrated circuit. In electronics, a monolithic integrated circuit is a miniaturized electronic circuit that has been manufactured in the surface of a thin substrate of semiconductor material. Hybrid integrated circuit is a miniaturized electronic circuit constructed of individual semiconductor devices as well as passive components bonded to a substrate or circuit board. Integrated circuits were made possible by experimental discoveries which showed that semiconductor devices could perform the functions of a vacuum tubes and by mid-20th century, technology advancements in semiconductor device fabrication. The integration of large numbers of tiny transistors into a small chip was an enormous improvement over the manual assembly of circuits using discrete electronic components. The integrated circuits mass production capability, reliability, and building block approach to circuit design ensured the rapid adoption of standardized ICs in place of designs using discrete transistors. There are two main advantages of ICs over discrete circuits, the cost and performance. For the cost, cost is low because the chips with all their components are printed as a unit by photolithography and not constructed one transistor at a time. The other one is performance. Performance is high since the components switch quickly and consume little power because the components are small and close together. As of 2006, chip areas range from a few square mm to around 350 mm squared with up to 1 million transistors per mm squared. Then we have advantages of integrated circuit. Among the most advanced integrated circuits are the microprocessors or cores which control everything from computers to cellular phones to digital microwave ovens. Digital memory chips and application-specific integrated circuit are examples of other families of integrated circuits that are important to the modern information society. While cost of designing and developing a complex integrated circuit is quite high, when spread across typically millions of production units, the individual IC cost is minimized. The performance of ICs is high because the small size allows short traces, which in turn allows low power logic such as complementary metal oxide semiconductor to be used at fast switching speeds. ICs have consistently migrated to smaller feature sizes over the years, allowing more circuitry to be packed on each chip. This increased capacity per unit area can be used to decrease cost and or increase functionality. Moore's law in its modern interpretation states that the number of transistors in an integrated circuit doubles every two years. In general, as the feature size shrinks, Almost everything improves, the cost per unit and the switching power consumption go down and the speed goes up. However, ICs with nanometer scale devices are not without their problems, principal among which is leakage current. Although these problems are not insurmountable and will likely be solved or at least ameliorated by the introduction of high key dielectrics. 
Since this speed and power consumption gains are apparent to the end user, there is first competition among the manufacturers to use finer geometries. This process and the expected progress over the next few years is well described by the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors, ITRS. The popularity of an IC. Only a half century after the development was initiated, integrated circuits have become ubiquitous. Computers, cellular phones, and other digital appliances are now inextricable parts of the structure of modern societies. That is, modern computing, communications, manufacturing, and transport systems, including the internet, all depend on the existence of integrated circuits. Indeed, many scholars believe that the digital revolution brought about by integrated circuits was one of the most significant occurrences in the history of humankind. The classification of an IC Integrated circuits can be classified into analog, digital, and mixed signal. Digital integrated circuits can contain anything from a few thousands to millions of logic gates, flip-flops, multiplexers, and other circuits in a few square millimeters. The small size of these circuits allows high-speed, low-power dissipation, and reduce manufacturing cost compared with board label integration. These digital ICs typically microprocessors, digital signal processors, and microcontrollers work using binary mathematics to process one and zero signals. Analog ICs Analog ICs such as sensors, power management circuits, and operational amplifiers work by processing continuous signals. They perform functions like amplification, active filtering, demodulation, mixing, and others. Analog ICs is the burden on circuit designers. By having expertly designed analog circuits available instead of designing a difficult analog circuit from scratch. ICs can also combine analog and digital circuits on a single chip to create functions such as AD converters and DE converters. Such circuits offer a smaller size and lower cost but most carefully account for signal interference. The history, origins, and generations of an IC. The birth of the IC. The integrated circuit was first conceived by a radar scientist, Geoffrey W. E. Dahmer, working for the Royal Radar Establishment of the British Ministry of Defense, and published in Washington, D.C. on May 7, 1952. Dahmer unsuccessfully attempted to build such a circuit in 1956. A precursor idea to the IC was to create a small ceramic squares it's one containing a single miniaturized component. Components could then be integrated and wired into a bidimensional or tridimensional compact grid. This idea, which looked very promising in 1957, was proposed to the U.S. Army by Jack Kelby and led to the short-lived micromodule program. However, as the project was gaining momentum, Kilby came up with a new revolutionary design, the IC. The first integrated circuits were manufactured independently by two scientists. Jack Kilby of Texas Instrument filed a patent for a solid circuit made of germanium on February 6, 1959. Those are the patents received by Kilby 
from the U.S. government. Robert Noyes of Fairchild Semiconductor was awarded a patent for a more complex unitary circuit made of silicon on April 25, 1961. Noyes credited Kurt Lehobe of Sprague Electric for the principle of PN junction isolation caused by the action of a biased PN junction as a key concept behind the IC. Thank you and God bless.